Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. Today, again, we're going to be playing some Marvel Snap, just to get you guys uh, a good idea of what the game is kind of like, and how you can play, and how you can progress. Um, uh, Marvel Snap, uh, very kindly uh, sponsored this stream today, and the rest of the stream for the week, so um, thank you for that, I really appreciate it. And I'm really excited to keep playing this game because it's very fun and there's a lot of different things that you can unlock and a lot of different things, a lot of different cards that you can get, a lot of different characters you can get. So, um, I don't know, I'm excited to see what we can what we can do today. Um, if you guys find that you are interested in this game after watching me play it or watching um, the VODs from this past week, if you missed it, or I posted these up on YouTube as well, um, if you find that you enjoy it, uh, you can uh, scan the QR code in the top left part of the screen to download the game, or I just put the link in the chat for you guys to um, to download it there, all you have to do is click it if you're on your mobile device. Um, this is a mobile game, uh, so it will only work um, from a mobile device or cell phone, so um, definitely Take advantage of this, and let's let's try to reach these goals. We have the goal of getting two more people to season pass level three, and we still need three people to um, win thirty matches in three days. So who's gonna do it? Who is gonna add to the board? Let me know uh, how far you guys get uh, in the comment section, in the chat, uh, however you're watching this. And let me know what your favorite Marvel character is, because there's tons of superheroes and villains to choose from um, uh, when, once you unlock them uh, in your deck. So you can see a few of the characters in my collection right now. Uh, if you see any that you like, just shout it out. But yeah, so we have uh, one of my favorite cards is Jessica Jones. Uh, if you don't play a card within her space, the next turn adds plus four power to her ability. That is one of my favorite ones. Iron Man is another popular one uh, with me and a lot of other people like Cody Cat and Chip because your total power is doubled at this location. So even though Iron Man has no power, um, he will double yours at that location. Sometimes uh, power will be added to him depending on what your location was. Another one of my favorite ones is Abomination, even though he doesn't have any special abilities, he's a low uh, low energy, very high power. Um, so that's one of my favorites. Um, but I also love The Thing. Very cool cards. These cards are awesome and as you upgrade them they become more and more visually pleasing. Um, I know we upgraded the thing so it's more 3D and we'll see what we can do uh, throughout the stream today. This is a, uh, as you collect cards you can raise your collection level and you can unlock more cards and more credits just so you can upgrade your abilities and you know everything that you have in your collection um, as well as Oops, this is not where I wanted to go, but these are your daily missions and your weekly challenges and all sorts of good stuff. Um, but where I wanted to go, actually, was not even where I clicked even a little bit. But this is the shop, so of course you can spend uh, money, but you can also spend, you get gold, so you can eventually upgrade or buy these cards, um, as well as these fast upgrades, so I have a lot of credits. So we can boost some of our characters before we start battling today. And this is what those um, Frame are break. And then as you upgrade them, the boost and you get more stuff. So it's honestly a huge, uh, no pun intended, web of collection as you go along. Let's see. We'll boost another one and we get two collection levels with that. So that's really nice. Sometimes you get more than one collection level, which is very helpful. 3D. Now it's 3D. Nice. 
this character um, on reveal abilities of your other cards are at this location. So that's a good one to use too. Get a boost it. Get a mystery card and see what we get. A devil dinosaur plus two for each card in your hand. That's really nice. That's a good card. I think we should move that one straight to the deck. And then let's upgrade white queen. Frame break. Uh, draw a copy of your highest cost card in your opponent's hand. So we're gonna boost it one more time. I don't think we can collect anything more time, but that's no big deal. Um, we've done a lot. But let's add it. You can also add more decks, but let's take a look at what we have here and try and move things around a little bit. I really wanted to add um, that one card. And maybe some other ones with Colossus. Can't be destroyed, removed, or have its power reduced. I really want to add uh, Devil Dinosaur today. We gotta we gotta change things up a little bit uh, for you guys today. So let's remove Star Lord. Let's add Devil Dinosaur. Let's get rid of this one. Let's add. Hmm, let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have one for all the numbers, which is good. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. And the other cards on the to the left. I do like this one. You add a seven power tiger to another location. Um, so we'll see how that one uh, functions, and we'll see. Let's see what we can get done today with uh, the new deck that we have. I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are excited too, let's see. Also, I mean, they do not, uh, a lot of the cards, I mean, they're not guaranteed to show up in your, in your hand every time, which is unfortunate because see, in the first round, we only have one energy and there's nothing that we can uh, spend it on, so we just move ahead, but hey, it looks like we got a card out there anyway, thanks to this monster island location. And we can again, cards you have plus one power, so see that would help out with the Iron Man thing because Iron Man has no uh, power. And then after each turn gives cards you have one plus power. So these are perfect because putting these ones in the middle is very helpful. Mr. Fantastic uh, adds plus two power to adjacent locations, so if you put uh, Mr. Fantastic in the middle, the two locations on the side will add plus two power. If you put him over here, only one. And also, if you put Medusa in the middle, uh, this will add plus two um, to her own if she is in the middle. But let's try out Mr. Fantastic so you can see how that functions in the space. Because it would be pretty nice to add some numbers to each location. So, punch. Both locations, so we tied it up on one. Got some good ones on the other. So Jessica Jones, if you do not play another card next to her, she will essentially double. So we will not be playing a card on that one, but she will constantly be added power as well. So that's good. So we're really gonna juice up the power here with just one card, and now nobody's here, so even better. Bishop. I think I have that card. Uh, actually, I'm not sure, but he plays card game. Opponent snapped. Oh, they snapped. They think they're gonna. They think they're gonna walk away with the win here. So plus two for each card in your hand. That's kind of nice. But I think that we should be playing. Let's play White Tiger. Actually, no. Just in case a random card gets placed there, we don't want to take that. Um, chance. So it looks like our highest card, or our card with the highest power would be this one. So be smart to play it here. So I'm gonna make sure I didn't mute myself. <laughs> Thank goodness. Because I was playing with the mute button, and honestly, I did not know which one I ended on. <laughs> Should not play with the mute button. 
not really a smart, that's not a smart strategy. When you're going to stream, don't play with the mute button on yeah. your headset because that makes no sense. So we're on our final turn here. We're doing okay. Go over here. Let's see. In our hand, that's not really going to help us out. Uh, let's do white tiger. And hopefully, no matter what one it ends on, uh, plus seven will help us out in either location. So I think this is a, I think this is a good strategy. Only plus one here, but that's okay because it's doubled. Mm, they have the same idea. I don't think that's enough for them to win. It's a tie. Oh, it came out. My head. Unfortunately. That's just the way it goes. I have not really. I don't have the. The rocket one. If the opponent played a card here, plus two power. Uh, so we. Unfortunately. We were the reason for that. Unfortunately. But that's okay. It happens. Sometimes it goes good, sometimes it goes bad, and it has nothing to do with, with you, just uh, the way the game goes, so. This is the way. On turn 5, all cards must be played here, so let's keep in mind that we cannot play a card the first turn, but that's okay. All right, cards cost one less. That's helpful. Uh, this one does not have any ability, but that's okay. Let's go now. Let's take a gamble. We don't even know what that location is, but that's fine. Alright, after you play a card here, add a copy of it to another location. Okay, that would have been helpful. But we could do this one, and that's going to add six to another location. We could just do the helpful. Those ones, those are my favorite kind of locations. Because it just doubles without having to use any more energy. It's clobbering time! Puts us at a, at a good advantage. We definitely want a 9 to be added somewhere as we will. That would be super helpful. All in one turn. 18 power in one turn. That's nice. And so the middle's full, so if we put at least a 2 there, we'll be ahead and they can't add any more cards, which is good. And that one could be added. Which is actually going to fall on two locations if we're winning on one of them. So we're Clear winning on two, so we're guaranteed the win. So I'm going to snap. snap. They're probably going to retreat. <laughs> but let's lay the Hulk down. Do a Hulk smash. Hulk smash! Final turn, I mean. We're doing. Uh oh. Why are we not? Oh, we are winning. I was really confused for some I don't know why. Um, uh, so... Looks like we can just... Really stack up our... Our stuff here. Oh, they retreated. I knew they Victory. would. Victory! Man, I wish I could have finished off in glory. Let's see, that's a good one. Oh, and we get to upgrade a card. Which is awesome. We just started using the white tiger. Frame break. Has not disappointed. So nuts. And I think, yep, we can get five boosters to upgrade my Mister Fantastic card. That's good. I really like the Mister Fantastic card. And boosters are what gets added to that number at the bottom. Looks like we have. Something going on in our collection, so Mr. Fantastic is ready for upgrade. So let's do that before we 
heading to our next battle, it's always important to make sure that all your cards are 3D. before you head back into a, a match. Just so you're going in at full strength. Professor X. I haven't seen that card yet. Lock down this location. Cards cannot be added or removed. Oh my gosh, that is an OP card. If that counts for like the other side too, that's crazy. Let's say we have something in our shop. Let's check it out. Oops, oh, it looks like we have some more fast upgrades. I know that I have this character in my. I think I have it in my deck. If I don't, definitely should. Animated. I just got him animated for a plus four, so we can do two collection levels for 25 more credits and mystery card. Enchantress. Remove the abilities from all ongoing cards at this location. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. Um, I mean, I'm gonna try and get all these just so that we can get those collection levels. Even if the cards Frame are enough, break. it's important to get those and keep collecting and getting as many cards as you can. Uh, maybe you'll find your favorite Marvel character in there uh, through the collection levels, so who knows? Animated! Four levels to that, so that's really nice. Two upgrades. Or, yeah, two levels under. This card, the highest cost card for me here. Uh, I, I love that one. Because usually my higher cost cards are my most powerful. But let's upgrade Professor X. Even though he's on the deck, we should always keep it. Frame break. Because it's important. And you get another collection now, so we get more stuff. It's just infinite, infinite rewards, guys. Infinite rewards. And then there we go, back to the shop. What can we upgrade? We got free credits. Oh my gosh. Stuff everywhere. Then we got mission stuff that we, we accomplished. Look at us. Now we can get back to playing. The whole time was just rewards. So why wouldn't you want to play a game that gives you so many rewards? So sure, just for doing the thing. So if you want to play the game, I mean, you like our game top left. The uh, link is in the chat once again. Just play the game. So after each turn, give each card to your plus one. Wow, well, we can't do anything, but that's okay. Not worried about it. Can still get the um, add a random card to each player's hand. Okay, cool, because that helped me out. Okay. If you have three other cards, you place it there. Well, I don't. That's okay. You will just double your power. Still make you, still make you useful, if you don't know. Destroy a random enemy. Oof. That's a scary card. Shuffle five rocks into each deck. No. That's terrible because rocks cost one energy and do nothing. But get in there. Feeling, feeling pretty confident. Now that those, I don't like the locations that say, like, oh, there's a, ooh, well, that really cool. there's a 25% chance of, you know, a car getting destroyed or, you know, at a certain turn, like, cars will get destroyed. I don't like the ones like that. So some stuff like tanks. Um, because it's just like, I don't know, why would I play a card there then, you know? Make a boost. I also want to play 
Just for doing good, and now I have Abomination, which will boost us pretty nicely. Now stand, stand on top. I put the rock. Why did it play the rock? Final turn already. Oh my goodness. Oh, see, I did have it in my deck. Uh, let's see, I came up fast. Uh, I don't know where they can go. Hmm. Let's see, we have six. Eight, twelve, four, and a one. I guess we could spread it out a little. Just so we're getting, uh, we're getting some points on both sides. Just we didn't really need that, which we would have boosted now. This is most unfortunate. I am Groot. Oh, I don't think there are enough points. Please don't. Oh. By one point. Victory! Uh, I think you both with all the abilities sometimes, especially if they're cards that I haven't played before. But uh, the more you play, the more you get the hang of it, and the more the cards become familiar to you. Um, so it comes with time. Some of, those, some of these, like, Still, even though I've logged a lot of hours into this game, um, they still come as a surprise. So there's there are so many characters out there for you guys to collect. I don't I don't I don't even know how many. It's infinite, an infinite amount. That's all I gotta say. And I see new ones every time I play this game. Every time I pick up my phone, it's it's new. Every time. New locations every time, like it is crazy. New rewards after turn three, add a random card for each player. Okay, that's fine. As long as it's a good one. <laughs> Ant Man plus one energy is turn. Use that. I don't think I have. I still can't even play cards though. Oof. Okay, well. That's fine. Play at least one. <clears throat> okay, cards here are not revealed until the game ends. We found like that. I mean, my cards obviously wouldn't be revealed either, but I don't like not knowing what my point value would be up against somebody else's. After turn three, so there'll be a random card. Absorbing, man. If the last card you played has an unreveal, copy its text. Okay. Interesting. It's just, oh my gosh, see? There's new cards all the time. I've never even seen these. Megasonic Teenage Warhead. After any card is put here, destroy this card and that card. What is the point? <laughs> Why? Uh. Okay. That's so strange. Like, that does not benefit me at all. Okay, let's see. Guess we're gonna have to. Oh, okay. Got rid of that one. I gotta play Devil Dinosaur before the last turn, but also I can make the benefit for this. I am Groot. So last turn, I could win with this card and hopefully... Hey, 
Smash! That's fine. Well, I guess I'll just do that. Yeah, I'll Victory! Those are wards. Nice. Devil Dinosaur. See, they keep showing me that it wants to be played. I need to play that card. Frame That's break! That's a cool card. It deserves to be played. Ooh, almost to another mystery card. And if you guys want to see a card played, please put it in the chat and I'll add it to my deck. Definitely a new four I don't know. Alright, first card. After turn three, ruin a random location. Okay, that's fine. As long as it doesn't ruin my cards, it'll be a okay. Okay. First to fill this breaks out a six cost card that costs zero. Okay, well I would fill it if I had enough energy to place cards. Turn three. Add a spoil to each thing. Thank you. This one doesn't have any powers, just four. So I guess I will try and play this location as fast as I can. The squirrel helped out. Appreciate it. Sometimes I don't appreciate the squirrel, but this time, for sure. Um, okay, well, I'm gonna keep playing this. I'm gonna show one more and then show double. And um, okay, I'll get to turn that. That's good. Oh no, but we can't put some card there. Okay, this is a perfect time to play Devil Dinosaur so we can get the benefits of two plus in each hand and finish off strong. Okay. Oh wow, eleven. Okay, that one boosted us up. That's enough. Okay. So could be this. Boost us up one and add seven to one of these and hopefully it's not this one. But it's a gamble, so we'll see what happens. Only hope for the best. And it didn't go in the right Hulk smash! Is that the Hulk there? And we totally lost. <laughs> That's okay. That was a pretty bad one. Win some, lose some, I guess. That's, that's all I want to say. And we're out again. Oh, Ooh, Moon Knight. Never seen that one before. Discard a card from each player's hand. Okay. 
chaos like that. Okay, since we're still building our tower. And that turn, we have nothing. Fantastic might not have a super powerful power, but I mean, in total, it's technically six. So. Got a respect. For me. Let's use abomination. All systems go. Well, I'll take some, uh, some added, uh, one, two. Oh boy, okay, this is the final turn. Hmm, I cut my clothes again. Hmm. Well, I think we should take another gamble here. <laughs> Let's see. White Tiger has been helping us out. Yeah. That was a good placement. Your other cards don't have plus one power. Me too? Oh, not me too. But we still won. And that's what Victory! Happened. We're gonna upgrade this. Three D. Solid. Another mystery card. Let's see. Oh, I've seen this one played so many times, and I'm so excited to have this and add it right into my deck because that's a nice one. Oh, we got some season pass rewards now that we can play. Oh, looks like we can upgrade another card. Frame break. Nice. More boosters. Oh, again? We double upgrade there. That's very nice. 3D. There's a mystery card. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest card I've ever seen. It's a little puppy! That's so cute! Stop, Cosmo is such a cute name. You just gonna come in here without without saying anything but that. Hey everybody! <laughs> it's Chip. Just making my random appearance like always. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. I just wanted to see Cosmo the dog. I think I just found my favorite card. Cosmo? Yeah, I don't even care if the dog has no abilities or what, but I came running from across the room. I heard, oh my god, this is the cutest thing. 
get a card ever, and I came running to see what it was. I know, you kind of snuck up on me. It's kind of scary. I know. Scary person out here. I guess so. I'm just out here claiming rewards like crazy, weekly challenges, crushing them. Win with Spectrum in your starting deck. So it looks like we have to shuffle our deck around. Oh, I hit the wrong button. So we have to remove a few. Honestly, don't use Devil Dinosaur as much as I, would. I really had hoped. Not really as practical as I had unfortunately imagined. So we have to add Spectrum to the deck so that we can get that challenge done and then looks like we're not going to use one uh, character because I'm putting Cosmo in there and I don't care what anyone thinks. I think I'm going to remove Mr. Fantastic for now. And Mr. Fantastic is my favorite card so sorry move over Mr. Fantastic it's Cosmo's time to shine. Let's see what let's see what let's see what this puppy can do. Uh can't play anything this time. I don't think I can play anything. Oh, yeah, I can. Card 2 had plus 5 power. Uh, yes, please. And I'm going to put Medusa there so it even has even more. This is going to be amazing. Watch that power just skyrocket. If there's any strategy at all, it's putting Medusa in the middle. Because that's her special ability, and that comes in clutch so many times. So Spectrum wasn't in our starting deck, our starting hand, unfortunately, so I don't think that we're going to get the thing, unless it was in in the deck that I'm using. I can't really remember, but... Opponent snapped! Snapped? Pretty premature, if I do say so myself. I'm confident that we can get the job done here. Okay. See, turn five out of six. And let's see. I, can't, I wish I could place more than one card, but I guess technically I could do that with um, the white tiger. I mean, I use that card so much. So much. And it really, it's a gamble. Especially if you play it as your last card, so try to strategize around that, but, I mean, yeah, it definitely comes to handy, for sure. It just boosted us, and they snapped, so, <gasps> Cosmo! Why did you come right at the end? It's okay. I'm playing you anyway. Best decision I've ever made. Cosmo and Iron Man in the same round. And I'm gonna snap oh, to snap. that. I am Iron Man. Let's see what happens. Avengers! Assemble. Oh, the abilities are on that. Oh my goodness. They're there's so many things happening. And we won with Cosmo. Victory. That's all I needed. 
That's all I needed in this game, was to take a win with Cosmo. And Iron Man gets to be upgraded? Is this the best round we've ever had? Probably. 3D. It doesn't get much better than that, if I'm completely honest. I want to upgrade Cosmo. That's the next goal. Oh yeah, and your starting deck. Okay, so we just have to win one more. This game is pretty addicting, if I, if I do say so myself. Um, it's a super fast game, but every single match feels different. Every single match. No match has gone the same way. It keeps me on my toes. I have to say, Marvel Snap stays fresh and it's at each match. No matter, you don't know what cards you're gonna get, you don't know what's gonna happen, you don't know who you're gonna get, even out of your deck, even if you pick the deck, you don't know who you're gonna get. Always something new. <laughs> this land around, can never be fully known. Like, it is just crazy. This is so fun. I'm having a blast, you guys. We'll leave Jessica Jones there to, uh, to chill. So that she can... Boost her power up. Gonna four. Let's do. Honestly, what is the, the one cost cards have plus one power? So I don't really have any of those to worry about. Could fill up this space and get plus six, which might help us out. It's clobbering time. Avengers, assemble. What is the power of this? The other cards are this location and plus one. Okay, I see. Whoa. I didn't realize I had Rocket Raccoon, or did I just get that randomly? Either way. If your opponent played a card here, plus two power. Uh, after you play a card, this gains one plus power. I mean, honestly, if we fill this up, we get six, so. Copy the enemy cards with the highest power you played on this turn, but on your side. Opponent snapped. Hmm. Well, this one costs zero. And I don't know how much we're really gonna add to this one, but I could boost twelve. So yeah, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Cause that leader card might really help us out. Mmm, they played the white tiger at the end. Hulk smash! My goodness. And we, 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 we Victory! What's, what's new, you guys? Can't upgrade it, honestly. We did it. We won. And we got seven missions done. So that's awesome. Still lots. A lot of more missions, but we are just cruising through the season pass. So one of our goals, one of our streaming goals here, is just to get to season three or level three on the season pass and as you can see we have greatly surpassed that it's just right here you guys we are now on 11 or yeah we're we're just cruising um and we've played uh like you missed my stream yesterday my stream yesterday was about two hours long uh and we completed that within the first i don't know less than an hour of the stream so it is achievable for you guys um, so let's, let's boost those, uh, 
let's boost those bars and uh if you do it thank you and i appreciate it and thanks for supporting the stream i will be putting it in the chat again in case you miss it otherwise it's the qr code up in the top left corner you can scan it with your mobile device uh it'll bring you to the download page to download the game if you're interested in checking it out um because i've been having a lot of fun playing with it uh, i think you guys would see whether you're a Marvel fan or not, it's a really fun game. Um, but just uh, before I take a quick break on speaking, I will continue to play. I'm gonna take a quick break on speaking here. Um, I just want to let you guys know that Marvel Snap just won the Game Awards for Best Mobile Game of the Year. Um, the very famous and authoritative annual award ceremony that recognizes the achievements of global video game industry and honors the biggest titles. So it's the biggest honor a mobile game could get, and they won it, Marvel Snap. So this is accredited. This game is awesome, even in the eyes of award, uh, the game awards. Um, so try it out. This this game is really awesome. This mobile game is awesome. Um, yeah, I mean it's super. It's super fast. Uh, it's not slow whatsoever there's no you know honestly every match feels completely different um there's not i don't get a feeling of like repetitiveness um also you can play with your friends if you get tired of playing with random people online you can uh either create or join a friendly match uh between your friends and a code will be generated that you either type in or give to a friend so you guys can play with friends online um, if you get tired of just playing with random people. Um, so there is that capability as well. But honestly, this game stays very fresh and exciting the entire time that I've been playing it. Every stream, every time I play it outside of the stream, um, every match is completely different with new cards, new locations, new cosmetics. Um, once you finish the season pass, you get another season pass. So um the fun does not stop there uh especially with new ranked seasons new challenges new missions and new events on the regular this game keeps it fresh and keeps it real um so i hope you guys are really interested in trying this game out uh let's boost those bars let's let's uh let's get those things uh happening Let's get uh, to Season Pass level 3 and try and win 30 matches in 3 days. So 3 days within the time that you've downloaded the game for the first time, uh, try and win 30 matches and that will pop up on the board. So um, this is my third day uh, with the sponsorship. So stay tuned, let me know how you guys are doing, let me know what cards you found that are awesome, that you've liked. Uh, let me know what your favorite Marvel character is, and if you want to see something added to my deck, just drop it in either the comment section uh, here or YouTube after the game has been uh, played or that video has been posted, or drop it in the chat here live. Um, if you guys are live right now, don't be shy. Drop it in the chat. I'm always interested to see what you guys are thinking, what you guys uh, just want to say. I'm always down to chat. I'm a very chatty person, so... Yeah, uh, I am going to take a little break on speaking, but I will be paying attention to the chats, and I can always chime in, or I can message you back on the chat. Uh, but I'm going to take a little break from speaking right now, and I'm going to keep playing. But right now, thank you guys for watching, thank you for the support, um, and let's reach these sponsorship goals.
I'm not done, I'm just saying I'm bleeding. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna double check the. Just in case. I mean, I'm using my headset, but. Hello? It's clobbering time! Victory! Three D.
Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back after a little break. Um, I'm just talking. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you notice at the end there, um, the last match that I had just played, um, it was, I had to retreat when I knew that I was going to lose. I just wasn't dealt with very good cards. Um, it was just still two rounds. So. Anyway, um, so anyway, what I was just talking about was uh, when I hit retreat on the last match that we just played. So I knew that I wasn't gonna lose, or I, I wasn't gonna lose. I knew that I wasn't gonna win. Um, I didn't want to lose my cubes, um, which is really important. Those snap cubes. Uh, if you haven't noticed that when you do think you're gonna win, you want to snap so that you can double your cubes. Um, so you can get more rewards, etc. But when you feel like you're gonna lose, definitely for sure, um, retreat so you don't lose out on the rewards because you get cubes taken away from you um, if you do actually take a defeat rather than an escape with a retreat. So if you guys really think that you're gonna take the L on it, I recommend retreating to save you some trouble. A copy of a card in your opponent's hand. Okay, interesting. We get to see into the eyes of our opponent here. I haven't seen that location that much. The daily view. Whoever has more cards here gets a hundred power. Oh no. We're going to do our best. If not, we're just going to ignore it completely. <laughs> Looks like we're doing better, but it doesn't matter. It just goes by cards, not by power. So we're going to throw... Oh no, I can't throw Cosmo in there. This turn, all cards once we play there. Okay, so I guess we'll just make sure to play a highly powerful card just to make sure that we're putting in a good position. Oh, they played two. And they took a card from our deck. This is getting disrespectful out right here. So this time, I'm going to play two, and we're going to throw Cosmo out there. And I think I have a theory that every time I play the Cosmo card, I win. There is a direct correlation to victories via Cosmo. So there's another Cosmo card. It's a guaranteed win when you get dealt that, so you're welcome. That's my that's my strategy. So so yeah. That's all I gotta say. So if it does go by cards, we don't have to worry about what the power of level is for them because if you have the most cards there, obviously it's gonna go up. But if you both have four. I guess it does go by power, so pay attention to that because it's important. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Um, they snapped. They think they're going to take the win here. But uh, little do they know, we've got the Hulk. And we're going to take the win. Uh oh, they doubled. We, we messed it up. Actually, we tied. Somehow. Somehow we won. I really didn't think we had that one, if I'm completely honest. That was that came to a shock. That came as a shock to me. <laughs> but see, now we get double the cubes. So we get to move up in the ranks. Which is important. Because you get even more rewards. I don't know. Let's see. It takes a while to get rewards because it goes by double each time, but it is worth it in the end. Uh, 
no one sucks when you can't play. I tried for the first couple turns to see your opponent playing all these cards. At least we did end up being to play at least one of the monster cards. So. Appreciate it. I always put Medusa in the middle. On reveal effects twice as a citation. So hopefully we can do it better. I'm not sure that works. I always like do that one. So. Cyclops is the only one that we can play. All cards must be played there, no problem. Jessica Jones over by the monster. I think that's such a good idea. Whether it's a good idea or not, I guess we'll find out in a couple of turns. We need to get the we need to get snap. Maybe we made a bad decision. But that's okay. Sometimes the really happens, and that's alright. Um, keep moving forward. Oh, I should have played White Tiger because if they put another card there, then I lose ruin my Jessica Jones ability. I always want to do that. I always stop myself, but this time I had no self control. Never mind. Oh, thank goodness. The ability, the ability applied before my card went into effect. And it worked out. Oh my goodness, it doubled. I forgot about that. The effects are twice, so that just threw us in the best possible scenario ever. That was should be secure. And I realized I may have jumped the gun on that one and put myself in the core position. You might still squeak out with it. Oh yeah. There was a lot of places I could have put the hole. Let's keep racking up these links. See how easy it can be if you follow what I'm doing here in the stream. Follow the same strategies. I mean, sometimes it gets a little dicey, but we, we end up with the win. 26 play cards cannot go to the ticket. Locations. Are important and can play a huge role in whether or not whether or not uh, you pay attention to them. So always pay attention to that. Oh my if we're not going to return three without putting a single card down. This is crazy. Hopefully we didn't put it behind too much. Plus one energy, yes, please. Not if I play here, swap it with a card in the deck. Uh, no, thank you. If I'm placing a card there, I'm placing it for a reason. So I'm not so we can well, I guess technically it'd be the same either way. Oof, that probably is nothing. You can get the card and finish the season pass. 
So if you guys keep you guys download it and then crank out the season pass. Um your chances I'm sorry, I'm trying to read all the locations. <laughs> Just give me one moment. My brain cannot move very fast. Alright, I'm going to that so. <laughs> Just download the game with the with the link and and do the thing and, and you'll have fun. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. No need to thank me. Let's place the Hulk. The Hulk is always always uh my finisher card because I like to end things with a smash with a bang. And I'm good now. Even if I lose. Even if I lose, I win. So. Yeah. Cosmo got added. See? Oh, we still lost. We let Cosmo down. I'm really disappointed. I don't even know how, how Cosmo got pulled into it, but... Oh, you know what? When you place a card there, it gets swapped with the random one in your deck. I really thought I had it there, and Cosmo was actually the the downfall. You know, I'm not mad though. I cannot be mad at Cosmo. That's just something that's that's not gonna happen. So. Not a rock. I refuse to put a rock. If I have the choice between nothing and a rock, I will always choose nothing. Unless I can give it to my opponent. I will also shuffle five rocks into the deck. I'm going to play the rock, which is not going to happen. The rainbow rock? Johnson? <laughs> That's the only thing you say for the past two hours. You've said, oh, but it's a cute card in Johnson. Blame the rock, Johnson. Cosmo! Yeah, you know. Bye, doing my thing. Cosmo! Yeah, yeah. Changes to another creature. Add in squirrels. Cosmo, get the squirrels. Get them. We're going to protect Cosmo with Jessica Jones. Looks like it would be a good idea to place one more time. Alright, let's do that and then we can always boost that area because they're bound to put the cards there. I don't know if I'm not even on a double digit number, so I'm not worried about it, but I would like to play the seven somewhere else. That was perfect. Okay. And then, so I see it, so unfortunately it just does not fall the way that I want it to. But I know I can secure a win here for sure, so I'm gonna, oh wait, I'm gonna finish off with the hook, which is very unnecessary, but it's a little bit of an over to have that, you know what, to get the win? Either way, we're gonna win. Should have snapped. Can I still snap? Oh, yeah. Secure that win. The earlier you snap, 
and more cubes you get. Because it like doubles. Oh! It's round. So after the earlier you snap, like if you snap early enough, you can end with like eight cubes. Oh my goodness. I did not know. They run double each round. So it'll go from two to four to like eight. Hmm. So if I'm really confident, I can try snapping in the first round. And get eight. Dang, I did not know that. I was just squeaking in last minute and I'm like, yeah. Give me all the cubes, but I didn't realize that I could get more. Wow, you're coming in with the wisdom. You don't say much during these streams. Because cause this is not a two player game for both of us to play. Yeah, you're just a you're you just are. a special guest, but yeah, when we do come and go. I guess so, yeah, you'll learn something new. A, a tip from Chip. Tip with the chips? I mean, chips with the chips. <laughs> it's almost as bad as this way. What did you say? You were saying trip and you were. Trip and chip and dip and dips? Should have my own knockoff brand of those dip and dips. Chip and dip and <laughs> dip and chips. Dipping chips, chips. dipping chips. Now oh, that sounds too much like chips and dip. But, but it's not what it is. Huh? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that. Cosmo! F turn five, move all cards to your turn location card to your highest power. How does it power double? Who is the name? Double Cosmo! Oh no. Oh, I'm still at the highest, I think. Oh no. There's so many. Oh no, there's so many cards. And we're still ahead. Look at. Cosmo is OP because there's only one card here and there's three over there and he's still winning. Mm. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Cosmo is just the best card you could ever get. Okay, let's see. Don't want to double my uh What does it say? After turn five, move all cards to you for the location. See, I don't like that. So if I want to play a card there at the end, I can. But looks like we're doing pretty good so far. Wow, we only have two cards in the middle space, and it beat out all four of their cards. That's how you know. Cosmo's a oh uh oh we're swapping we're swapping cards with the other person oh no they're gonna get my whole finisher oh no use it use it Fred. this is most unfortunate draw a copy of the highlight oh no I don't know I don't know what's this one do okay. That's fun. Oh wait, this quick wait. Two power. It's essentially the same thing. Um. Okay, whatever. Uh. This looks like a promising ending turn. That really threw me for a loop. Oh, they used the Hulk, and you know what? They won. Oh, no, I won. But they did use the Hulk. Dang. So, if you have less than them, but you're winning two spaces, you win. Yeah. You just have to win two spaces. It's whoever wins two spaces. Yep. I see. you got to win two locations to win the game. So, that's why, like... Honestly, if I have like two cards on one space, but I'm getting absolutely just like obliterated by like them, 
I'll back off and I'll just feed my other spaces and I'll just leave that one card there. Mm. Okay, what's more upgrades? Still no mystery card yet, though. It just disintegrated in front of my eyes. Oh, no. <laughs> the first location said discard a, a card in a player's hand, each player's hand. And I was so excited I finally got to play a card on the first round that disintegrated my my one energy card. That was so sad. <laughs> That was cool. why I was literally just saying, "Oh my gosh, I'm so excited!" It was instant disappointment. He said, "You're excited." Um, uh, let me zoom that real fast. Let me just change that really fast. If there is more than one card here, destroy them. Oh my goodness, I don't like the ones that destroy your cards. Yeah, I don't like taking a gamble like that. Why did your burp sound like a baby pig? Oh, <laughs> see, one thing I like about Jessica Jones is I see like that side they have five. Well, now they have, like they just added a card there, but even now, like just that one card's gonna double to eight. Yeah, like I don't know. It's just it's just the little niche things that you pick up from playing it so much, you know what I mean? Like, you you begin to recognize, like, and become very familiar with the cards in your deck, the cards that pop up, stuff like that. So I'm gonna make a guy that, like, counts and adds points to each side. So, like, the lucky ones. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic. So you know what I'm talking about. It's not a chomp. It it never has been a chomp. I thought it was a double little bite on his thighs. No. What did you do? He punctures with his arms. He stretches the arms. I knew he stretched, but I thought he was doing a little chompy chomp. It was not a chompy chomp. He's punching. Oh, I need to watch that animation a little bit. I thought he was taking a little bite out of each side. <laughs> You're thinking about snacking too much. Yeah, you know. Like, seriously, I thought he was taking a little bite out of each side the whole time. <laughs> Why would he take a bite out of it and ask me? I don't know. I that doesn't like, make any sense. I Yeah, that's what I thought the whole time, too. This <laughs> makes so much more sense. <laughs> Why would what? And why would he do it twice at the same time? I don't know. Now that I get it, it's his two hands stretching out. But I thought this whole time it was like two little devil things going out. <laughs> <laughs> and do the little chop. No, that makes absolutely Because yes, when you eat something, it adds. Once again, it's another oh. No, I still can't add. I need to add more one energies to my deck, if that's not already obvious, but, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, let me say hello to you. <laughs> uh, 
uh, first to fill this. Okay, perfect, because I have Medusa. Medusa always comes in clutch. I like how you're just uh, sitting there enjoying the stream live and playing the Animal Crossing. Yeah, I feel like I don't even have to throw it up on my phone. So I'm just like, what about? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, living in it. Wow, like this stream has become my life. Talk about live stream. Really? Amazing. <laughs> how's, uh, how, how are things going over there? Good, I've uh, built some fences. Oh wait, oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I thought they were going to play Mr. Fantastic and I was going to have you watch the animation with me, but they're Mr. Fantastic got sliced in half. What is with the tragedy? Every time I get excited about something, the game's like, no, I will beat you into the ground if you get excited. <laughs> Ever again. It's over. <laughs> How are things over there? Good. Yeah, I just built a bunch of fences and I'm building a little park area, like a little central park to get all the supplies and to get make some pathways and stuff. Okay, I, I like it, I like it. Very nice. My friends, and my place is being overtaken by a flower zone, it's not a little out of control. <laughs> like, it's stressing me out, I have no shovel. <laughs> and they're growing in my pathways, like, it's a mess. It's a mess. I see. Am I gonna fix it? No. I'm really not. Why? If it's just a new out. Because the place is closed and I can't buy a lot of trouble. Make one. Ugh. Ugh. Let's see. Hmm. This is a gamble. We're playing, uh... They'll put a random seven in a different location. If they put some in the middle, we're screwed. Because I wouldn't win. Because I wouldn't have enough because I neglected the middle to feed the sides. Which, yeah, it was a gamble, but sometimes it pays off. We ran out of, uh, what is it, credits or whatever to upgrade, so... I don't think we can upgrade some of our cards, which is okay. Yeah, that's not going to be kind of going on my limit for the day, I Each challenge, your cards are plus one. Okay. I'll take it. After each challenge, that's nice. That's another one right there. And it's the double, all the effects are double each turn or whatever that's really nice. Okay. I'll take plus one any day. Uh huh. They they placed a card before the location was revealed, and it says minus one. <laughs> Get pranked. It's okay. I get pranked all the time with this game. <laughs> um, let's see. And five. All cards must be played here. Okay, that's fine. I can play a card there, but I'm no problem. Okay, we're doing pretty good. 
Let's grab a pretty strong card just to ensure that we're going to go there and then there. We'll see if they pull off or just now because it is a higher energy. Round a four. Oh, I think I didn't expect it. Oh, I think I just keep working up the body. Um, yeah, this is your final turn. Where's the Hulk? I guess we'll play this one. I think we're pretty set on a lot of these locations. Oh, they're trying to, they're trying to, oh, we didn't win. Oh, well, we did because we tied. Never mind, I was like, well, I don't know. That was a, another one that I said. Um, but we are going to be playing for just a couple more minutes here. Uh, before I end the stream or, you know, going further in the game, obviously we've, we've won a lot of games, we've played a lot, you've seen my strategy fail and succeed. I'd say the success rate was more than, than the defeat rate, which is good. It's always good. Sometimes you're going to lose and that's okay. Um, sometimes you can retreat in those situations if you can predict it. Um, but before I turn the music up and finish off the stream, uh, that way, I just wanted to say thank you guys for supporting the stream. Hopefully we can uh, complete and fill these bars and the overlay and uh, reach our goals uh, as a community, as a, as a noodle game. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me uh, so that I can keep getting these sponsorships. I really appreciate it. Um, we would have uh, nothing like this without you guys' support. Um, but a little bit about the game. So you've seen me play it. This is the second stream. You can always check out the VODs on the other one. Otherwise, I posted it up to my YouTube. Uh, just a little bit about Marvel Snap. Is a, it's a super fast game. Uh, once again, I'm going to say every match is completely different. Uh, as you saw, I did not get the Hulk card in that last bit there. And usually that was my finisher card. So... Uh, you know, every match is different. You gotta maneuver it and, and change up your deck every so often with the new cards that you collect and upgrade. Um, but essentially this game is like a fantasy uh, game where you can just kind of, like a fantasy football team where you have a limitless dream roster of superheroes and villains um, that you can choose to add to your deck and uh, get some wins with and upgrade. So maybe you find a new character to like or love. Maybe you have characters that you already love that you'll end up collecting eventually, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Whether you're a Marvel fan or not, this is a super fun game, uh, very fast paced and always changing with new cards, new locations, new cosmetics, new season passes, new rank seasons, new challenges, missions, and events on the regular, constantly changing, even within the, t the short time that we've had this other sponsorship, things have already been shifting and changing within the game, and it keeps it fast-paced, fresh, and fun. So hopefully you guys enjoy the stream. I'm going to play a few more matches, um, and I'm going to turn up the music for you guys, but thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you guys next time.
from the Daily Bugle.